Hey guys, Chris Broadhead here again with another video on my 2000 Toyota Tundra. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the power steering pump and how to replace it when you never need to. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, there's a nut right. Let's see if I can focus. A nut right there. Hold on. Okay, a nut right there. Um, a bolt right there, and then one on the bottom. Um, now before you can access all of them, uh, the holes in the power steering pulley um, need to be rotated and to where you can get a extension and a socket on there and to um, loosen it up unless you have a uh, ratcheting uh, wrench um, to fit that piece in which case I would recommend that instead. Um, but take the belt off. Um, this little banjo motherfucker right here I think is what it is. Um, when you uh, loosen that, um, there's a power steering line going down right there from follow my finger like right there that little black hose um so there's a, a bigger nut on the bottom that you need to hold and then twist that off um so there's like a it's like a either an 18 or a 19 millimeter on the bottom um that one's a 17 um the air control valve is also a 17 um so when you take that off hold that down and loosen it up and then it's free to pop out and then uh put it back on the new pump that you got um mine's right there because um i don't have a 18 or 19 millimeter wrench to fit the bottom nut um, right there so can't do the job um but while i was in there um i did replace the power steering fluid because that shit was black so you can see it right here i just like a little makeshift funnel with a bottle of duct tape and bullshit Hold up the sun and can't see through it at all. Um, get nothing. So, um, whenever you're doing that, just go ahead and make sure to get some transmission fluid like I have to and get that, but your vehicle might say different. Um, but, pretty simple job. I could have done it like an hour, hour and a half, but because I didn't have that 19 millimeter, I couldn't do it. Um, on top of that, I have a head gasket leak due to the uh, Gates water pump and timing belt kit that a fucking mechanic put in. And then the overheating issue when I went up to Caesar's head caused a hole in the back of the back of the block because I'm uh, whatever I rev it past 4,000 RPMs, I uh, see a little bit of uh, oil coming down the uh, transmission bell housing, so it's coming from the back. Um, and then I'm also having the uh, either like a, f a fuel or uh, some kind of vapor getting into the uh, the radiator system, the coolant system somehow. Um, because I put a test up to it, and then uh, when I revved it, uh, there would be a little bit of vapor coming up through the tube. Um, so now I got a blown head gasket. So I got a buddy at Toyota that says he can do it for two grand. Um, it's a Toyota Mechanics. I don't know. I mean, as long as you use quality gasket material and valves and springs and all that shit's okay, then you should be good to go. Um, but I know I have at least a couple bent valves or worn out springs because of the overheating because I'm hearing a little bit um, consistent ticking whenever it's idling, you can tell. Um, but I've got the power steering pump. I've got that uh, ordered an ACE and water pump um, to go in with it um, along with the uh, fan, uh, fan bracket pulley and a fan because um, when I replaced... The, the the fan bracket um you can see that blade's missing because it's a piece of shit um the bearing on it was worn causing it to uh i guess shift and uh articulation um causing the uh, blades to hit the radiator um you can see down there there's a big scrape um so you have one missing blade and then a couple of them are chipped um, other than that, I mean, the, t uh, the engine's temperature st stays around like 188 is what I saw at last. So the coolant's doing its job and the it, engine's staying cool. Um, but nonetheless, those problems have to be addressed. Uh, but that's that's it for today on my 2UZ. Bitch is getting ready. Alright, see you guys later.